Okay. So here we are at our first stop. Um, I just feel like it made the most sense to go to McDonald's first. So I just ordered my first fry. I ordered a small fry from McDonald's. We're kind of on like I feel like a rush, people getting off work. So, you know, this is probably the best time to go and order French fries. This is the um, French fry from McDonald's. This is a small fry and they do look pretty fresh. They have, you know, that fry smell to them. Here's like an up close. You can see there's salt on them. These are really good right now. The thing that I thought would be interesting about this fry taste test, besides absolutely nothing, is it would be interesting to see like which fast food places kept it fresh. And I don't think any of us are surprised with Mc Yesterday I went to McDonald's and the fries were not fresh, but these fries are fresh. So honestly, with that being said, you know they're good. There's nothing quite like a fresh McDonald's fry that has like a nice, like crispy crunchiness, you know, soft potato inside salt. Mm. Can you guys hear the crunch? These are some good fries. Mm. Oh my god, I need to stop eating them. This is the Burger King fry for $2.70. It's about the same amount as the McDonald's fry. I wonder if they do that on purpose. It's about a cup. Um, they do look pretty fresh. They do look pretty fresh. I don't know, how do you guys feel about the Burger King fries? I've honestly always kind of liked the Burger King fries. I did just have the McDonald's fry. So, you know, it's like Burger King or McDonald's fries. I feel like it has to be McDonald's. I'm sorry, Burger King, but hold on. I'm going to take a drink of water. I need to cleanse my palate. The fry is breaking. Okay. These are nice and fresh as well. These are nice and fresh. They have a nice crunch to them. These are honestly pretty good fries. They're a bit thicker than the McDonald's fry. Generally, I like a more thin cut fry. I'm not a fan of like, you know, the, the fat fries. I like a skinnier fry. These places really do great with the salt though. They're very well salted. Okay, this is the McDonald's fry. And this is the Burger King fry. These are the new secret recipe fries from KFC. And they were $2.49 for these. Here's a fry. They're a bit like of a seasoned fry. It tastes like they got something going on there. It feels like I need something to dip them in because they do just taste like very salty. It look like everything that I want in a fry. They do like this pack, like this is hot right now in my hands. They're fresh. Like I can just feel the freshness, like they're hot. They're like, I like my fries, like not super fat. They're more of like a thin fry. Oh my God. Oh. Mm. Oh. Holy shit. These are some good fries. These outsold McDonald's period. Mm. And they're the cheapest so far too, for only $2.19. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm, they're burning my mouth. They're burning my mouth, but I can't stop. Oh, oh, it's hot. Mm, mm. Oh my god. 
Ah. Mmm. Mmm. White wings are good. Mmm. They're hot. They're crunchy. They're like perfectly crispy. Whenever I bite into them, it just like melts in my mouth. I just crunch into them. And the potato just like comes out all soft and melts into my mouth and it's all salty. Oh, oh my God. These are perfect fries. These actually look like they're pretty fresh. This is the fry. Need salt. No crunch. There's like, this is probably, look at, look at how long this fry is. Oh my God, the weight of it. This is probably like one of the more fresh Wendy's fries that I've had. And it's like, it still just doesn't have that crunch. There's a little bit of a crunch, but it's just not there like on the other fries. They need salt. The flavor just isn't there. I don't know, it just tastes like you're biting into a plain potato. Like honestly, the Wendy's fries are probably the worst so far. So these are the Dairy Queen fries. They come in this little bucket thing. Seems pretty fresh. Mm. Do you guys hear that crunch? That is a good crunch on these fries. These are the Sonic fries. They look pretty fresh. Um, you know how sometimes you'll take a bite of a french fry and it'll have that like rotten potato taste? Like in a certain part. I would put these fries above the dairy or above the Wendy's fries and above the KFC fries. They um, are very salty. They kind of just taste like Wendy's fries, like they have no taste, but then they just put a ton of salt on them. For two seventeen, this is a lot of fries. Honestly, I feel like this is the most fries so far. Um, they don't seem as fresh as what we've seen. Mm. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I like to look for these ones. The spring. These curly fries actually look good. The Hardee's curly fries are way better than the Arby's ones. I don't know how they taste so fresh whenever there was no one in line. I am blown away. Okay, these are the Popeye's fries. Oh my god, I love a Popeye's fries. But honestly, they don't give you a whole lot of fries. This is the smallest, small amount of fries I've seen yet. Mmm, oh my god. Mmm. 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 It's been like three minutes since I've had a fry. Mmm. Mmm. I would have to put the Popeye's fries in like third. I would have to put them above of the curly fries from Hardee's. These are the Jack in the Box curly fries. This was a small. These are pretty good. Put it up close. This is my final ranking. I have to put Lion's Choice first. They had the cheapest, some of the cheapest fries. Not as cheap as Wendy's, but Wendy's fries weren't good. But they had cheaper fries. They were crispy. They were just like the right amount of thickness. They were seasoned well. I'm putting Lion's Choice first. 
And then I have to put McDonald's second because to me they're just like such a classic fry. You can't replicate the McDonald's fries. Like I've been trying fries all day and I feel like, you know, some fries will just taste the same. Like some of these fries, like I wouldn't know like whose fries they are, but these I know are McDonald's fries. Third, the Popeye's fries. These are just so good, you know? Like also they cannot be replicated. They're just so good. They've got like that Cajun seasoning, nice and crunchy. So that's my third. Fourth, the Hardee's curly fries were better than the Arby's and the Jack in the Box curly fries. So I'm putting them in fourth. In fifth, it was really close. It was really close between the Dairy Queen and the Burger King fries. Dairy Queen had a slight edge because theirs were just a little bit thinner and a little crispier. So I'm putting Dairy Queen in fifth with Burger King in sixth. And then I would do the Jack in the Box curly fries. These are in seventh. They're the new KFC recipe, secret recipe fries. And then in eighth, the Arby's curly fries. And in ninth, the Sonic fries. And in tenth, the Wendy's fries. He likes that crunch. Hey! Share! Oh. Now they're really starting to dig in. But yeah, like in the summer, whenever I come up here, there will be like 30 or 40 of them I swear there will be like tons and like the little baby ones I always want to steal a little baby raccoon like I'm kind of like do you guys want to hop in keep you warm for the winter well fed they haven't touched the Wendy's fries yet <laughs> <laughs> 